So a horse is a very complicated uh, intestine because they eat food that is not very digestible. A horse uh, obviously eats the grass or the grain, they chew it up in their mouth, it goes back through the pharynx, down their esophagus to their stomach, which is where there's acid in their stomach to start the breakdown process. And then it goes into their small intestine, they've got about 70 feet of small intestine, there's a lot of that where they're absorbing simple sugars and some electrolytes and things as well. And then into the large column, which is like a big vat um, in their abdomen, where there's a lot of um, bacteria in their large intestine, which helps to break down the complex carbohydrates. And so that's absorbed there, as well as a lot of water that gets absorbed and secreted. And then that leads into their small colon, and then eventually where the manure is formed, and then that's passed out at the end. So the purpose of the digestive system is to enable them to get energy out of the food they eat. So because they're eating grass and grain and hay, very complex carbohydrates, very fibrous food, they've got to grind it up initially um, in their teeth and then it goes into their stomach where there's acid which starts the breakdown process. But most of the breakdown occurs in their large colon and their cecum where there is bacterial um, fermentation occurs um, which breaks down those complex carbohydrates into simple carbohydrates which they can absorb. So horses have evolved to graze continuously so they eat, secrete acid continuously in their stomach as well. And so then we take them and put them in a stable and feed them intermittently and there are periods of time when their stomach is exposed to acid but there's no food. Um, also when they, they swallow the saliva it has got bicarbonate and other protective factors in it. So feeding them intermittently is what leads to ulcers in horses' stomachs. So we treat horses with inflammatory drugs like bute and phenidine which stop the production of the protective lining for, of their stomach and their large colon so that uh, they then get inflammation and ulceration of their large colon as well. So the signs of gastric ulceration and hind gut acidosis can be quite obvious, so in appetence, uh, but they can be quite subtle also. So just a, a coat that's not as glossy as normal, poor performance, a change in attitude, being grumpy when you do up their girth. All these things can also affect uh, pH of their colon as well. So some of the signs can be quite subtle, but you only really appreciate them when you start treating the horse and then finding that those things improve. Their appetite improves, their performance improves. So when to consult your vet is basically when you see another O sign. So if you have a horse that suddenly stops eating or they appreciate their coat's dull or their performance is bad or their attitude's changed, they're the times to, to get your vet to have a look at the horse. To diagnose gastric ulcers, ideally you'd scope their stomach and have a look for them. So the scope is now entering the horse's esophagus and we're going down the esophagus. So now we're inside this horse's stomach. So we're washing the lining of the stomach and you can see there are ulcers along the, the bottom of the squamous mucosa. Sometimes if a scope isn't available, you can do a drug trial. So you treat them and see if you get a response. So once you've diagnosed gastric ulceration, ideally you'd treat with one of the anti-ulcer medications. So miprazole or anidine. Once they've had ulcers though, they're prone to recurrence. So it's a good idea to use one of the supplements to help prevent it from happening again in the future. The role of supplements is to either aid horses recovering from digestive conditions or to help reduce the risk of the conditions occurring in the first place. Modern feeding practices in combination with stressors such as exercise, travelling, competition and regular stabling provide a recipe for poor gut health. At Kaleido, we have formulated complete gut health solutions to suit every horse's needs. If you are combating gut health issues, Gastroid Recovery is the ultimate supplement targeting both foregut and hindgut health and aiding horses recovering from gastric ulcers. Gastroid Recovery is formulated for horses with gastric ulcers, those recovering from ulcers, or those who are under a significant amount of stress. For stomach health, Gastroid Recovery contains antacids, which help to neutralize or buffer stomach acid and reduce irritation to the stomach lining. Most importantly, Gastroid Recovery provides therapeutic levels of the coating agents pectin and lecithin, which form a gel-like layer over the stomach wall to protect it from acid burn and strengthen the mucosal lining. For hindgut health, the prebiotic binds to harmful bacteria within the gut. This helps to reduce the risk of disease and subsequent conditions such as diarrhea. The prebiotic also helps to enhance the horse's natural immune response to infection. 
And finally, the live yeast probiotic helps to stabilize hindgut pH levels and stimulates the growth of beneficial microbes in the hindgut. This helps to improve fiber digestion and enhances feed conversion efficiency. If you're looking for a product to provide your horse with daily support and maintain the health and function of the total digestive tract, Kaleido's Gastrade Every Day is a great option for you to consider. For stomach health, Gastrade Every Day contains a marine source of highly bioavailable calcium, which acts as a buffer to help stabilize the pH in the horse's stomach and neutralize excess gastric acid to help promote a healthy stomach lining. It also contains psyllium husk and lecithin, which work together to help maintain the integrity of the stomach lining. Gastroid Every Day is also particularly beneficial for hindgut health due to the presence of a unique, powerful prebiotic and two live yeast probiotics. The prebiotic combines two strains of yeast that enhances its adhesive or binding capacity to harmful bacteria in the gut and stimulates the horse's natural immune response. The first live yeast probiotic helps to maintain the integrity of the intestinal lining. This is really important because the intestinal lining is the first line of defense from bacteria and toxins from entering the bloodstream. The second live yeast probiotic helps to stabilize hindgut pH levels and stimulates the growth of beneficial fiber fermenting microbes. This is really important for feed conversion efficiency. And finally, Gastroid Every Day contains a unique primary antioxidant that blocks the formation of free radicals and protects the cells from oxidative damage. This helps the horse to cope with stressors such as exercise and illness. The great thing about Gastroid Every Day is it's a super palatable pellet, which makes it really easy and convenient to feed. You can even hand feed it to your horse. I have two dressage horses. Both of them showed symptoms of stomach ulcers, signs of stress, uh, chomping at the bit, lack of drive to go forward, and a dull coat. We were given a sample of the gastroid every day, and then I decided to trial it on one of my horses. In about four weeks, noticed a big improvement in his attitude. He was a lot calmer, uh, not as stressy, I had a better coat and then I put my second horse onto it and he had the same change. He had a shiny coat, a lot more drive to go forward, a lot happier being in the stables. They're still both on Gastroid every day, both looking fantastic, working fantastic, really happy and they love the taste and they eat all their feed straight away. Really happy.